I need a haircut bad. What's up guys, Shane here from Fugitec 3D Printing and today uh, I'm gonna interrupt your regularly scheduled videos that I post. I'm gonna do a little vlog today. It's been a little while since I did one, but I'm gonna get back to it now. Um, the reason why I haven't really done much this weekend is because I've been working here in my office all weekend long with the help of my wife. So we've actually redid, if you look back here, we redid all of that. Uh, it's not quite done yet, but it's, it's getting where we wanted it to be. I guess where I wanted it to be. She says it looked bad, so uh, we're kind of going to simplify it, um, taking a lot of the small knickknacks kind of down, and I'm going to try to put big prints that I really like up there. Kind of stay with that. We also went and cleaned all of the printers um, there, all the printers over here. Everything needed to be cleaned and dusted, and it has been a while since so I did that. There's a lot of machines, and it's really hard to pick every single one of them up and clean under it and sweep under it and dust them off. So, and I've already started printing. I've already got little zips that I need to really get better at kind of getting those thrown away, you know? Um, I also did my desk, which I knew it probably is not gonna look great, but for me, it's pretty fantastic. So, I did a fair bit of cleaning on this. So, filament, 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 filament. Stop. Yeah, focus. Yeah, that's all filament. That's overview filament or personal film that I've used in the past. I got 3D printing parts and I have my photography gear. And this hard drive has been sitting here for like nine months. It was to replace, that's my server back there. It was to replace the hard drive in that, but I finally just did that and another one went bad, so I pulled that out. Old drive's in there, now I just need to RMA it, and we'll be off to the races. And then I started to kind of start to get this cleared off, got out my BB-8, which I haven't had him out in a long time, and started getting all of that back together. Uh, we did get a shelf mounted up top, so that will help me put a couple things away, so that is all uh, like my Prusa Mark III clone stuff, and then that one is all electronics, and I've got some filament and stuff up there that's up out of the way. These are all my, my catalog of all my stuff. So this is like all the nuts and bolts that I use and everything. Um, there's, I mean, eccentric nuts, set screws, pulleys, fans, flex couplers, PTFE, I mean, everything you need to build a 3D printer. Basically, all the small pieces are here, and all the big pieces are down in that bin. So for now, that's where that's gonna be. I did uh, order a, a tackle box they were like on sale for like 18 bucks on Amazon so I ordered three of those one's gonna be for 3d printing stuff another one's gonna be for electronics and the third one is gonna be for um, oh airbrush so all my airbrush stuff is currently in this bin right here so that's okay for now it's better than that wasn't sitting in the Amazon box there forever and she said look bad so I did what she asked and I changed it out. She gave me the box, so yay for her. Um, but yeah, so now it's where all my airbrush stuff is and I don't want it to be just right there. I'd rather it be like in a container and I can kind of like stack it off to the side and go from there. And then this is all kind of, the bottom is gonna be kind of like my living space of, it's what's everything that's going on right now. So I've got just airbrush stuff for now. But this is one film review, another film review, another film review, another film review, and another film review. I just finished both of these maker boxes, so I need to get those pictures taken so I can edit the videos. Project back there, all those bins are different projects. Oh, that's another film review right there. Different projects are in those, and I have another project box back there. I have the Profi box here that I need to do, that's July's, it looks awesome but I need to get that printed and get the video done. And then these are, that's tools, and that's another uh, electronic project I'm working on right now. So I'm actually trying to get a few more uh, electronic projects put in. So uh, Arduino and things like that. So I don't know how that's all gonna go, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> I wanna try and do stuff like that. Uh, oh, and then I have, uh, I have a Wham Bam system and I have a Creality uh, branded super plate back there and that is supposed to be good like the ultra base or the super plate that's on the g-tech down here those both are great the ultra base is the best uh, i actually have the ultra base here on the uh, hypercube which the hypercube video part six is coming 
promise you I did film it. I need to do B-roll, which I might do tonight. I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do with that. Um, and I've got, yeah, but it's just cleaning up, just coming back here and seeing that. I mean, I think it'll be pretty good. Oh, and then, um, so up here that I mentioned, so review filament, review filament, review filament, personal and personal filament. Um, all the ones in the, the bins below my, down in there, that is all filament that has been reviewed or it is personal filament. So that's like what's left in the rolls. I'm trying to use some of those rolls up because I'm getting too many. Uh, like the, um, there's one coming to send me one, two, three, four, five. They sent me six rolls of filament. So yeah, that's a lot. And I'll do, I'll pick like one color or do like maybe one of each color. And the review kind of like it did with like Catalyst that did that long time ago. That was actually really good film. I was glad to see that company go out. It worked out really well for me. But that's, you know, things happen. So that's a lot of PLA, six roll, six kilograms right there. So I'll probably use this up with some projects coming up. I need to make some project boxes and um, I have some 3D printing to do for a couple of projects and work on like actual boxes for that kind of stuff. The last thing I really need to do here is I need to finish kind of sorting out the stuff down below. And then I have a bin with all of my small prints in it. So all the little things that were on the shelf and all that. I need to go through those, pick up my favorites and kind of keep those around. The rest we're gonna have to, I'll maybe I'll give them away to somebody or something, but I can't really keep all of that filament, all those little, I can't keep every little print that I make. It's just my office is too small. This is a roughly 10 by 12 foot office that has almost 20 printers in it. This is not counting the resin lab that's down outside the kitchen. So that's outdoors. It doesn't count that space. So this space is what I have to use for my recording. You know, you guys would sit right about here. A little wider right now, but if I kind of zoom in a little bit, whoa, that's what you'll see right there. And my floor, you can see my floor is nice and clean. The table, I took the table out to do a 3D printing class over the on Saturday. And while it was out, I asked my wife to help me. So that's why we kind of got on this cleaning kick. I don't know how vloggers do this. My God, my hand is tired. Ugh. So tired. But yeah, I kind of want to give you guys just a look in what's upcoming. The next two videos you're going to see are going to have the old kind of background until I get to recording this new stuff, which I have like, I don't know, I'm like six videos behind. I really need to get to those. Um, oh, some of, oh, I, I really like this actually here. So I did one of those, like two of those like cable thing there. And then my new, uh, modem i got fiber internet so it should be much faster now but the fiber internet, i made a little mount for that it took me like literally maybe 15 minutes in fusion i actually got on the first try i was super pumped about that uh, but then these cables once these cables all try and they'll actually the gravity will pull them straight uh, that will look a lot better but that is just all of my quick grab cables so that's cables for the gopros that's cables for the printers cables for the tablets and my phones and headphones and USB extensions, USB 2.0, 3.0, tons and tons and tons of cables. And that's only like a tiny portion of what I have, but I use those on a daily basis. They were like draped on the side of these bars, which are the racks here. And that was kind of getting annoying. I'm pumped about the progress we've made today. I am, I am happy about that. I'll finish getting the desk tonight, hopefully. I'm gonna edit this video first and upload this real quick. So I'm filming this literally an hour before it comes out. Just how long it's gonna take me to get it edited and upload and whatnot. But so I'll get a little bit more finished up and then I have like five film reviews that are gonna be coming out in the near future. Uh, I'll be kind of just taking my time on doing those, not really rushing through them. I really need to catch up on MakerBox and Mondo Boxes and now the Profi Box. So there's a lot of that going on. So I will get to all that super soon. And I hope you guys are enjoying the extra content. Why are you not focused on me? Focus on me. So hope you guys enjoyed the content. Hope you're enjoying this little ad, ad lib um, vlog type deal. Like I said, I just want to kind of get things off my mind and what's going on and, and just an update on how my little shop is doing. So it's pretty, pretty good. Get some more done here soon. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Make sure you're a subscriber. Watch all the cool videos that are coming out, all these all these uh, subscription boxes and film reviews. Make sure that you are subscribed for that. I do have some new printers coming, so that'll be fun. And yeah, so if you guys support the channel, there's lots of ways to do it down below. Other than that, happy printing, guys, and see you next time.